is up, Mappers? Welcome back to another very exciting video. Don't worry, even though we're in Narnia right now, we're about to take it right back down to the Tejas, where um, a, kind of a special video today. Not really a starter and into it, more so just me absolutely freaking whacking them. Found a very, very special spot and hooked the biggest fish of my entire life. I think you're gonna like this video. Really quick, before we get things started, I got a little something else special to show you guys right here. It looks like a regular six sack, but what's special about this is it's hand-picked lures. That's right, last year we started off things with six cents doing the slaunch sack, which is my own personalized sack where I pick out baits for seasonally. You guys can go out and catch fish at your lake and my favorite baits, my favorite colors. Well, we're gonna do one right now for the pre-spawn period. If you guys are in Texas and Florida and the South, the deep South, you're in this period right now, maybe even a little bit past it, but for the rest of the country, you're probably wanting to stock up right now. We all got the, the winter doldrums right now. We want to stock up on some badass tackle. So I put together my favorite baits for the pre-spawn phase, which you guys will be in very, very soon. Let's go through these really quick. First off, flat 75 brown eye special. That's like my favorite rip wrap cranking pre-spawn bait of all time. That's my favorite color too. We sold it out last year, so you might want to pick this up. Next guy up, you're about to see a lot in these Texas videos and you've been seeing them, the C10 in Shad Fantasy. Boom, awesome natural color. 10 foot diver, who doesn't need a jerk bait? You, you definitely need a jerk bait if you're fishing ultra cold water. This is the Provoke in Shad Sense. Nice little see-through sexy shad color. Had to put this guy in too. Fish pre-spawn, you know, you gotta be throwing a lipless bait around the grass, stroking up off the bottom. This is the Snatch. Always wanna grab your Snatch and head to the lake. This is in Bleeding Shad, so nice little chrome shad type color. Couldn't do a pre-spawn box without including the bait that I just caught my PB on. That's my favorite color bait. This color right here is called Ballistic Sunfish in the weird little swanky L-shaped bill bait. Doesn't look that pretty, but it's actually my favorite pre-spawn color in some more stained or muddy water. This guy's gonna get bit for you. But wait, there's more. Couldn't put a box together, a six sack, a slaunch sack without including a jig. So went with the hybrid jig, you can swim it, drag it, stroke it, do whatever you want with the damn thing. That's dark water craw, half green pumpkin, half black blue. Last but not least, included some swim baits. I wanted something that you could throw on a chatter bait because I throw that a lot in the spring and I wanted something you could throw on an A-Rig. So I thought, perfect, this guy can be used on both. I got him rigged up right here on an A-Rig back behind me. Throwing it all over the place. These two are the longer ones. You can you, you can use smaller baits, use these 3.8 sizes, uh, your bigger bait for the fish to come up and eat. It's a badass swim bait. Anyways, the MSRP on all those baits is about $60 or so. We're gonna sell this entire sack of hand-picked baits and colors from me for $49.99. Use my promo code MF10, get it even freaking cheaper. I'll link it right at the top of the description. Okay, let's go down to Texas and catch a fish. Now I see where we're at. Get him. Got a babe. Ooh, that's a good one. Cool. Look at you. You finally you hit the spot. Did you hit the grass before you got that one? Huh, nice. I'm just over here trying to catch grass apparently. I'm the grass catcher. That's how you know. Nice work, Cole. Shit. Cranking, Cranking stuff. <laughs> What's the deal now? Cast before this, I got slack lines, so I think things might be happening here in a second. Cool. Freaking excited, we just pulled to this point, saw a bunch of rock underneath, and uh, yeah, finally got down there with the C15. I was throwing a Carolina rig. No dice on that, but boom. Throw in there once, slack line, second time, four pounder. See what's down there, Cole. They're loaded, Cole. Get this little bastard off. You got all three hooks, of course. Did 
They just like fight over it when it gets down there. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It's a little bit better. They're growing, Cole. They're growing. We started off big and then we got real small. Now we're growing back big again. It's like fired out there off the end of the point. <laughs> Couple crates. In a million feet of water. Grind it down there as far as we can. And then as soon as it makes contact with the bottom, it's just like dee -dee 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 -dee, right there. That one actually slacked a little. Oh. Oh. There we got it. That's a better one. You bet. Freaking big girl. Big, meaty girl. Look at that. That's a freaking frame of a two pounder that weighs four. What you know about that, Cole? We're in the magic spot, guys. We're in the damn magic spot. This is the first point we fished the entire time. It's got rock on it. Been fishing grass. Things are going down with the old shad fantasy. What you know about that? Pre-spawn. <laughs> gotta get in. Gotta get in. I'm scared to end it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, better wait till I cast, right? It's just like there's so many of them, and I can feel it running through them. That it's like, is a tiny one gonna eat it, or can I just keep reeling through until a big one grabs it? That cast before one took it and freaking was going the other direction immediately. You might have just been a really pissed off three pounder ah just barely getting it they're whacking it though slacked it I have a hard time believing they're slacking it that hard but they're in one a different color not getting the hook because you can't see it probably it's whizzing by their face. Baby dick. Get out of here. <laughs> we'll see if we get some bigger ones. Should have been here half an hour earlier. Big one. Nope, it's grass. Nope, it's rock. That's the one. Yep, that's a big. Either I got them hooked funny or it's a giant. Freaking coyotes in the background. It's like I want to see them, but I don't want them to come up. Oh God, that's a giant head shakes, dude. Oh, it's a catfish. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> that's an old mud cat. Porn stash to be proud of that one. Mm -hmm. I was not expecting that. Oh, he's tail dancing. Look at him tail dance. Some dickhead commented on my Facebook video this morning and said flatheads don't eat artificials and that it's a myth and that we were snagging them on purpose. Well, this one's for that dickhead. But he was a master catfisherman, so. He probably knows better than me. He probably also could get this thing out of the damn water. How do I get that even in? Without doing that. What do they call these in Texas? A yellow cat? That's a yellow cat. New PB yellow cat. It's a pretty cool colored fish, actually. Mm -hmm. Lip them, right? Like a bass. <laughs> cool little guy. Let's get a bass. God, that got me excited. I was like, Cole, whoa, that's different feeling. Even the eight pounder didn't feel like that. Oh, 
slobbered it. I was gonna say that's a good one. <laughs> you don't feel quite head shake like wise like that catfish, but that's an angry fat one. Sit and watch me catch a little 20, low 20 pound limit here on one spot here in this little video is what you guys are gonna do. Look at that. Meaty! Meaty! I probably haven't talked about it enough guys, but basically we're just fishing a long grass point. For whatever reason, this damn grass point has rock on it, on the edge. And these guys, apparently, don't hate being around rock. Who would have known? So it drops from like 10 feet on the grass line down to like 24 feet and the rocks are on the edge. Beautiful fish, four pounder. And the best bait for me has been a 15 foot diver C15. Talked to a guy this morning that fished this area. He said that he was catching them on a 10 foot diver but he had to kneel way down and really grind it into the rocks to get bit. The guy that's actually staying at the same place as us. So we were kind of helping each other out and stuff. But um, yeah, just getting it down there. You're, just, you're not gonna catch one unless it's hitting the bottom. And so I've been grinding this down there, this 15 foot diver, and they freaking like it. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I got something giant. I don't think it's a bass. I'm not taking my chances here. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think I snagged a carp or got a big catfish or something. Oh, it's out there. Dude, this might be an alligator gar. I'm not kidding, Cole. We might have hooked a an alligator gar. This guy probably ain't gonna hit the deck. I just hope it's not alligator. Hope it is an alligator gar. I freaking, it felt like he ate it and I set the hook and I was like, oh, grass, rip, rip, rip. And it went, zzz, 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 zzz. And then I thought it was just like, maybe took off a few times, but then it was in the grass and it was like a big bass or something. But this is a different caliber creature here. I think he ate it too. Cole, this summit is five feet long. I'm not shitting you. He came up to the surface out there. Might be the last time we see him on the surface. He's gonna get in the grass and not come back. He's already in it. Oh. He's in it so far now. He's still on though. Dude, what wow. the hell is that? It's gotta be an alligator gar, right? With that tail? That's him though. Should we go over there? You have to. Dude, look how big his tail is. I can't, he's under grass and he's up there. Try to stick the net in there and get him? Dude, he ain't fitting in the net. Look how big the <laughs> damn tail is. The tail might fit. Jesus. Yeah, my line's here under some grass, and there's his freaking. We caught a damn dinosaur. I'm scared to like grab his tail. I think he ate it too, is a crazy thing. Okay. That thing's tail's bigger than the boat. What the hell is going on? Large, mysterious creature eats crankbait. Cole, let's 
put it, try to get his head in the net. He's probably just gonna freak out and break me off, but it's gonna look really cool. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the freak out. Nope. <laughs> yeah, my line was just like, just took off. <laughs> I don't know where he's even gonna be at though. <laughs> he had just given up for a second with surfacing. God dang it, I wanna catch a bass or 12 more. I mean, there's no way I'm pulling that dude around some grass. We might be losing Casey's C15. The only thing that can stop a C15 is 37 foot alligator gar. I just want to touch that thing. No, I don't. Bye, Mr. Alligator Gar. It's been real. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, Cole? Don't, don't do it. Catch him. Dude, I can't, Cole. I can't. I know we want to eat it for dinner, but he's still freaking down there somewhere. Cool, I want to catch more bass, sorry. <laughs> Oh, that was some shit right there. <laughs> oh, God. Watch out, Carl. I got a tie on RC-15. It's not dark enough yet. This is some riveting footage. You know what, though? I'll sit out here all damn night and stick them because we got to go home and freaking, hey, let's do a 20 this time. We're going to do bigger ones. Get them down super deep. Not you, Tan. I said 20. But this is so much better than freaking out ice fishing. I don't know what to do with myself, hardly. Catch giant alligator gar, I guess. That'll stretch the line. <whistles> so that was like, that was ridiculous. We pull up to this one spot, an hour or less left of daylight, and start whacking up on every single cast. We also caught a flathead catfish, and we just caught a damn dinosaur. I mean, that thing was so freaking big. He was out rolling further around, further out, and see, that's him right there. That's exactly what that is, Cole. Let me put that on the bigger screen. That is probably one of those damn alligator gar right there on side imaging. That's his shadow. I kept seeing those shadows, and I thought that might be what that is. There's another one right there. Look at that some bitch, Cole. That's his shadow. <laughs> These things are huge. They come out at night, but legitimately have some gator gators out here at this lake that we're at here down in Texas. That's all. Yeah, uh, cranking was the absolute ticket. C15 hitting that 15. 14 foot depth range in that rock from a 7 foot 11 medium heavy crankbait rod that lux rod beauty beauty my hands thumb looks like that i'd call that a successful little spot didn't get the mega giant but uh, yeah thanks for watching this one members catch you next time